You know what I think one of the most interesting things is about life is how you get used to anything. Like for example, I work with adults on a daily basis and I just have to deal with the fact that their daily life doesn't revolve around Pokemon as much as mine does. You get used to shitty weather, honestly, when you're living in England. It's been raining the whole day and tomorrow I'm already leaving, so I'm a little bit bummed out about that. But, you know, you deal with it. I could deal with it by taking an umbrella with me. That's a step too far. You also get used to new surroundings so fast, like... It has only been a couple of months, but I already stay at three different places in London. Every time I have to go somewhere else, I just pack up and leave. And, you know, a couple of years ago, that would have been very annoying or upsetting to me. But now, you know, I can just go anywhere and just adjust really quickly. I think as a student especially, you get so used to not having a lot of money. So I've basically been walking around London and it took me up to one hour to get from one place to the other just because I refused to use the subway. I think my parents would be kind of upset about that because they kind of want me to travel around a little bit comfortably, but if I know that I can spare a couple of pounds just using these two legs, uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try it. Because in my internship I get so used to emergency situations, suddenly when someone's bleep goes off and it says, okay, someone's in cardiac arrest, you just kind of start running and, I mean, I'm not even trained that properly, I mean, I know basic life support, but I'm not an anesthesiologist, but you just kind of go for it. So every time someone needs help, whether it's in a hospital or in daily life, for some reason, you just feel like you're the one who has to actually go and help. Which is a good mentality, I guess. You get used to things changing about your health. Honestly, I keep on feeling that my stamina and everything is getting better rather than getting worse because as a child I just wasn't fit at all and as a teenager I didn't even want to try. And hay fever. For the last couple of years, suddenly I have hay fever. It would be kind of cool if I could take medicine for it, but I don't do that because I'm an idiot. I got a job. I mean, that in itself is already mind-blowing to me, but the day after tomorrow, when I'm back in Holland, I'm gonna sign the contract and I'm gonna start immediately on Monday. So can you imagine? Because I'm still kind of reaching it. Honestly, I'm kind of scared to start a job as a doctor because suddenly you have all these responsibilities and you're not really sure if you're up for the task. But once again, fake it until you make it or get fired. And a couple of years ago, I would get kind of stressed about having to travel and going abroad and I want to prepare everything as, as much as possible. And now, I mean, my suitcase ain't even packed and I'm just sitting here drinking tea, eating strawberries and, um, and doing this. So I'm obviously not really too worried about it. I think that's the most interesting thing that you kind of look back to who you were five years ago, ten years ago or something like that. And while you were thinking about being this age, you actually thought, okay, when I'm 25, I'm either going to be a super successful individual, which I'm not, or they're going to ask me to do all kinds of stuff that I don't think I'm ready for. And honestly, you never feel ready for it until you actually just start doing it. And the same thing applied to me years and years ago. The same thing applies to me now. But still, in every new chapter of my life, I keep on thinking, I actually kind of want to stay the old me for a while. But honestly, I don't think a lot will change. I'll just I'll just have an income. That's cool. Another thing that I got used to while being 25, which I never never had before, was the fact that people consider me pretty. When people start looking at you as a pretty girl and kind of assume that you know what it's like to be a pretty girl and how to live like a pretty girl, and I really don't know how. But I guess that really says something about the perspective that you have of yourself and how other people see you and how those two will never really truly line up. So I think the most important thing is to not worry too much about that anymore. So that's kind of the message of this video. Don't worry too much about the future and things that you're going to have to do that you don't think you're able to do right now. Um, you'll get help and you'll get used to it. So fake it till you make it. It really works out quite well actually.